Hello, I'm Claire Mooney and I'm an Associate Solicitor at Stevenson's specialising in medical negligence claims. Sadly, many of my clients have suffered a brain injury through the fault of a medical professional. This type of injury can often have devastating consequences and may result in a severe disability. Brain injury cases are usually very complex and this video will hopefully provide an overview of the issues involved in bringing such a claim. There are many different types of brain injury, but some of the most common types of acquired brain injury include hypoxia, where there's been a complete or partial lack of oxygen to the brain, encephalitis, which is inflammation of the brain, often caused by a viral infection, hydrocephalus, which occurs where there's been a buildup of fluid causing an increase in pressure to the brain, stroke, whereby the blood flow to the brain tissue is interrupted, hemorrhage, which occurs where there's been a bleed in or around the brain, and toxicity, which occurs as a result of overdose of drugs including prescription medications, failure to diagnose, wrong diagnosis, late diagnosis and errors in treatment can sometimes cause avoidable brain injury or make existing injuries worse. Unfortunately brain injuries can occur as a result of substandard treatment. Some examples of this may include problems arising during pregnancy, labour and delivery. This may include the failure to adequately monitor the foetus during pregnancy, the failure to take appropriate action during delivery such as the failure to perform a caesarean section and errors in using medical instruments such as forceps during the delivery. Problems may also occur during the hours, days and weeks after birth known as the neonatal period. The mismanagement of medical conditions such as jaundice and the failure to diagnose and treat infection can result in a poor outcome for the child. Late, wrong or a complete failure to diagnose and treat infection in adults and children can lead to a brain injury. Meningitis for example can have catastrophic effects if not treated and diagnosed promptly. Strokes can lead to avoidable brain injury or a worsening injury if they are not treated quickly and correctly. Surgery can sometimes be performed incorrectly leading to avoidable brain injury in children and in adults. In investigating your claim we will obtain the input of medical experts to help us determine if your care has been substandard. We will also consider your current and future needs with the assistance of medical experts and we will seek to recover the maximum amount of compensation for you to ensure that all of your needs are met. Examples of experts that we may instruct when valuing your claim are care experts to look at the level of care that you have received in the past and also the level of care that you will receive in the future. An accommodation expert to confirm whether your current property is suitable for your needs and if not, we can try to claim the cost of any adaptations or in some cases claim the cost of a new property. Occupational therapists to confirm whether you require any aids or equipment to assist you on a day-to-day -day basis. We will also look at medical treatment that you may require and we may seek to instruct on a physiotherapist, speech and language therapist and a neuropsychologist. We recognise that during the life of your claim you may require some financial help to help to enable you to put in place a case manager. For example, to organise and assist you in your care plan. We can sometimes secure an early payment of compensation to assist with this and we can help you in locating a case manager. At Stevenson's we are also able to offer welfare advice to ensure that you are receiving the correct benefits and we can assist with any community care issues that you may have. People can be affected by brain injuries in different ways. Some people may have physical symptoms, whilst others may have cognitive or behavioural problems. If you feel that you have suffered a brain injury, regardless of how you've been affected, it is important to seek legal advice to ensure that you do not miss the opportunity to seek compensation for your injuries now and in the future. If you would like to speak to one of our specialist medical negligence solicitors, please get in touch with us and we will be more than happy to speak with you and advise you on any potential claim.